right, so up here at the top, I have to describe what an area is to Unity. So the distance. So right now, I'm going to state that the veritable area is an integer. It could be a float too. It, it doesn't really matter uh, if you want to get down to you know the point value of it all. You can put it as a, as a float. So it'd be like you know if I wanted to say 100.1, I, I'd use float there. Okay, there we go. So it's at 100 by default. Now what's going to happen? Well, I needed to say something um, so I know it's working. Print. Ouch. You hit me with a fireball. Of course, again, you can say something very less to the point where it just says pass a variable print one. You could do that. Another thing that you could do a lot of times is if you're unsure that it's actually working, you can print a variable like um, the tag forward you know if i just type in forward here it'll print that out so you don't have to always have something funny here but that just again helps me drive it to the point that it's going to be later on uh, the logic that drives a game it keeps me running at night save let's find out any errors okay so i got one two three Three opening and three closing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Something about, oh, transform. I don't know why I try to be a coder half the time. I can't type for crap. So here we go. Uh, if it gets in in the area of that bar, it should print out something like something, and it did not. So that tells me that the script did not work. And why didn't the script work? Well, duh, I didn't even attach it to the enemy yet. So here we go. Trigger via raycast. Do I need to do anything else? No, because remember, I'm switching out the transform with something useful. So I'm not even worried about this. I'm not putting anything there. There we go. Bam. Ouch. You hit me with a fireball. You are chasing me. Oh, no. I will back off. Get within a distance if I can. And you will go away. Good. And you will chase me again. And if I need to, I will get up here and try to avoid you. So now it's becoming a lot more um, user friendly and a lot less tweaky. You know what I mean? It's it's. I, I feel that the physics are running a lot smoother because I'm not hurtling myself into the user, and that's very important. And here here's that one thing where I can tone this down I could say now this is 10 be and I could play it and I can get closer bam you hit, ouch you hit me with a fireball or ouch the zombie bit me so that's why ray casting is so important so now we're having these things being triggered these print statements but what can we put in replace of the print statements well I'm gonna say I'm gonna take probably a week um, a break from these videos. I released like, oh God, I don't know, about 20 videos this weekend uh, just like this because uh, I got a class starting out with uh, the Unity game engine and I want, I want a lot of uh, reference for my students, so that's why I do these videos. Uh, so if they miss a day, they can make it up by not attending not worrying about missing that lecture that day, they can just watch the videos. And some people learn that way a little bit faster. So that's why my justification for making so many videos, and I just release them free because I figure, hey, it's a big world out there. So, all right, so let me have a break here, and then we'll, when we get back, we're gonna start looking at uh, what we can replace 
out, you hit me with a fireball, and out, you bit me uh, with to make it a little bit more interesting. All right, and that's in the next segment.